times how you learned how to overcome, you know, at times where maybe you would have gotten down on yourself. Tonight coming into this game, what was your mindset and, and how do you feel you were able to execute it? Um, just on the court, my mindset was just like kind of coach I, like how like what coach said before. Um obviously I know I had to be better guarding uh the bigs tonight. So going into the game, I was like, okay, I have to make sure I'm doing my work early, make sure I you and I had this combo all last year. I get in foul trouble, making sure I was smart, making sure I was boxing out, making sure I was doing the the, the little things, and just keeping my mind like consistent, um, staying confident, um, staying relaxed, being free, just playing basketball, do what I do, and just making sure like I came out aggressive, like making sure like we're we're on them from the jump. Michael, what's it kind of mean for this program now to get this, this tournament win? Now head to Oakland, so so you know uh, uh, game one is over. Now you're heading into um, I think just knowing that uh, the job's not done, like it's nowhere near done. We got a lot more that we have to do. Um, making sure that, like, kind of like our coach said before, like doing what we do best. Like we know what we do best as a team. Um, so continue to do those things. Continue to work hard. Continue to learn, listen, and just continue to be hungry. Not settling after, you know, not being complacent after this one. Making sure that we we're hungry. We know we know we're not done. Were your eyes as big as saucers when you had the put back dunk? What? Oh yeah, because <laughs> I'm looking around. I'm like, man, I thought the refs were gonna call something. I thought they, offensive uh, goaltender interference, whatever. But when they didn't call, I was like, all right, cool, we can count it. <laughs> Did you think you were close to offensive goaltending? I thought it was a little close, but I mean, hey, I got it, <laughs> so we can keep it going. <laughs> For sure, we know. Like we, we all have, con we all, we're all confident in each and every one of our abilities. We all have faith in, in every single one of us. If one's down, we know there's someone else to pick it up. So if someone else has like a night, it's like all right, like great for them. Like let's let's get it rolling. Like we don't really care whose night it is. It don't matter if I got zero, or whatever. As long as we come out with a win, like we're always happy for every individual, whatever they do. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I mean, obviously just learning from the first two games before um, making the adjustments and just continue to have put together a good couple of days of practice, um, continue to learn, watch film, know what we did right, know what we could have done a whole lot better and just uh, just do what we do. Like we we're confident going up there. Uh, it was definitely an adjustment at first, just because, um, like you don't hear you don't hear people. Like it's just sometimes like people will call a play out, and like you call the play out, and there's no like extra noise. Like you don't have to like yell it out all that loud. Like everybody hears it. You know, someone get a dunk, and you just hear like just the bench go crazy. No fans. It's, it was it was really really different. But I mean, at the end of the day, like we we all love to play basketball, so it was like a little adjustment thing, but it wasn't like anything crazy. Yeah, 